out to this grand opening ceremony, the ribbon cutting that we were having alongside with the uh, Orange Chamber of Commerce. And so before I get into the meat of it all, I want to introduce to you the people who made this possible. And I want to introduce them, starting with our council members. We have Ms. Terry Salter. Ooh. Paul Birch. Brad Childs. David Bailey. Mary McKenna. Caroline Hennigan could not be with us this evening. And we, we greatly appreciate the council for helping us to push this forward. Also, we also have NNT Construction, which is the company that is responsible for making this happen. My man, Mr. Vince Javier. And Mr. Clay Richards, the architect. And of course we have the city staff. They, they, they don't like being seen, but they're in the back over here. That helped get us together. And so before we introduce, I'm gonna let uh, Mr. Anthony Dandridge, which is the director of this building. I just wanna say a few words. Once again, thank you all for coming out. This is a major, major event for me and for my family and this council and everyone involved. In 2018, we had a situation before us where the natatorium was pretty much in disrepair. And it was gonna take a lot, a lot of money. And we had a lot of issues on finding lifeguards and things of that nature. And I prayed about it. And the Lord showed me this vision. And some people say, well, in politics, you can't talk about religion. Well, this isn't politics. Come on, this man. is about family and bringing community together. And so we went through this building and we saw all the things that were wrong with it. And we talked about tearing it down. And then before we decided to tear it down, I said, let's take another look. And I wanted to show them what I know God gave me. And this was a vision from him to bring kids and the family and the community together. If we keep one kid off the streets or if we keep one child out of the system, then we have done our job with this. And so I'm very excited to see this happen. It's been almost four years, but of course, you know, due to COVID and ice storms and, and hurricanes and even a tornado, things have pushed it back, but here we are today. So I want to give God the glory and the praise because I know what he showed me and I know what he gave me, the people behind me to help us get this to happen. This isn't from a mayor. This is from a team of people. This is a family that's making this happen. With that being said, I want to let Mr. Anthony Dandridge come forward, introduce himself, and then introduce you to the team that's going to make sure that we're doing everything right. Mr. Dandridge. Good evening, everyone. My name is Anthony Dandridge. I'm the City of Orange Recreation Center Director. Um, and my staff to my right, starting right here with my assistant, this is Audrey Jones. We have Jamie. We have Bree. We have Tay. That's what she refers to be called. That's the nickname. Um, we have RJ. We have AJ. We have uh, Carla, I'm sorry, Carla. We have JP, and we have Nietzsche. That's, that's what they prefer to be called. So when you guys come into the rec, these are, this will be the helpful staff. If you guys have any questions, any ideas, if you get it to them, they'll get it to me. Um, we just ask that as we continue to grow and we're open, um, we just ask for your patience and care because these are people too and i understand everybody wants to get in and get on the court and get active but we also have a process so on tuesdays through thursdays for the remainder of the year we'll be open from 4 8 4 4 p.m to 8 p.m and then on saturdays we'll be open from 1 1 p.m to 5 p.m fridays we all know this is a football community go west orange go lcm um but we're not going to compete with them so we'll be open from 4 to 6 p.m so that way everybody can go and support their favorite schools thank you thank you